Welcome back to the channel, guys. So my tonneau cover is showing its age. It's uh, been flapping in the breeze. The Velcro isn't holding anymore. So in this episode, we're gonna clean that up, uh, put some new Velcro in there. I'll show you how to do that. And then we'll do a refresh on the top so it looks like brand new. First thing is to remove the old Velcro. Now these just slide into this aluminum extrusion here and are held in at the end um, and sometimes in the middle by a rivet or in this case it was just a piece of a tab of metal. So uh, mine would not slide out and uh, as you can see there's quite a bit of dirt build up underneath it and uh, that was preventing it from sliding. So since mine was being a little uncooperative, um, I basically had to pry it out and uh, mine was quite old and weathered and uh, had been damaged by the sun I'm sure. So it was quite brittle, it was uh, it broke off in a couple locations but uh, I had to pry every last inch of it out of the extrusion. Um, but once I got that uh, out, then I was able to clean it up and get all of that dirt out of uh, all the little crevices there. So. Um, now that it's nice and clean, now we should be able to slide in the next one uh, really easily. So with the original ones out and all cleaned up, we can slide in the new Velcro. Now if your rails are clean, then the old one should slide out just as easily as this one goes in. And uh, it's about 25 bucks a side basically to get this uh, material, uh, so 50 bucks for your truck, but uh, definitely cheaper than buying an entire new tonneau cover. And uh, I just got this at the local uh, auto parts store that uh, sold tonneau covers and truck caps and that sort of thing. So right at the end you do have to get it, uh, in my case, over this little uh, peg of aluminum that they've sort of bent out. And uh, this is a lot easier to do and easier, uh, or hard to film and do at the same time but uh, I just used a little screwdriver there so that I could uh, wedge it up over and then, uh, and then you could slide it forward. But uh, this goes much easier with two hands when you're not filming. So once you get it all the way, um, it will slide back and forth and that will allow for some expansion contraction of the tonneau cover when it's on there. Now all of these come a little extra long, um, so even though this is a six and a half foot bed, uh, you know, you do get a little extra. You see on the original there, it's cut short a little bit. So uh, you do need to uh, trim that off. And uh, I just used a pair of uh, tin snips, they worked pretty well. So I pulled it back towards the back of the truck as uh, far as I could there on that little tab that's on the front, and then snipped it off flush. And that gave me just about the right amount of spacing there when I slid it back to be uh, just like it was originally. Now it didn't make sense to just uh, end it there now that I had it properly secured. Um, so now I had to restore kind of the top of it there. So first off I needed a good clean wash and uh, once I had that done then I proceeded uh, with some uh, vinyl protectant and there we go we're back to basically brand new um so we've got that uh, all refreshed the top's looking a heck of a lot better and all cleaned up and back to being shiny and then we've got a great seal on both sides so wind and rain and all that sort of stuff aren't going to be getting in anymore 